Today we're gonna to discuss how to stop quitting when things get hard. First, I wanna share with you how I translate breakdowns that's probably different than how you translate them. Second, I'm gonna share with you what never works when things get tough. And lastly, I'm gonna share with you one of the most powerful exercises I've ever learned on and exactly what to do when you start getting negative. So first, let's talk about when things are getting tough, you typically feel like you're having a breakdown. So something's not working, something isn't, you know, uh, the way that you like it, you get a, a surprise of a negative nature. And I always look at breakdowns as where's the lesson? What's the thing I need to learn from this? So let me give you an example, a not so pleasant example. So quite a few years ago, we had a very trusted employee steal $60,000 from us. Now, I'm not so amazing mindset wise that I was like, oh, no big deal, right? I'm just like, uh, what the heck, man? And uh, <laughs> I still remember when we called her after we figured this out and we said, uh, hey, we need some help here because it looks like you've stolen money from us. And she's like, yeah, you got me. I'm like, what the hell? It was the weirdest response I, I never expected. But after the few minutes of, of being angry and uh, feeling betrayed and feeling like, you know, I need to, I, you can't hire anybody nowadays, you can't trust them. I said, okay, what can I learn from this? One, I became grateful because it actually could have been a lot worse. She had full access to our bank account, could have wiped us out and you know, could have headed to wherever and we never see her again with all of our money, literally, because she was our financial controller. She had access to all of our stuff. And so one, gratitude, it could have been worse. So whatever you're going through right now probably could be worse, right? And you may not wanna think that way, but if you can create a little bit of gratitude, you can actually make it not feel so bad. Number two, what, what is the lesson here? What can I learn from this? So that led us to create new systems where we are much less likely to have that kind of scenario show up. So it actually made us a better company by having that happen to us. Now, I don't wish that upon you and I you know, wish it didn't happen, but it did make us a, a much more stable and secure company by creating new financial processes so that that couldn't happen. But besides this example, look at your example in life. And one phrase I want you to embrace is, the lesson is repeated until it is learned. Ooh. So a lot of people, they go through you know, the same relationship 10 times, but with 10 different people. Well, the only constant is you. The lesson is repeated until it is learned. And so what lesson do you need to learn from your most recent breakdown? Because it may be the most powerful lesson that you have to learn. And once learned, you'll stop having that exact type of breakdown. So you may have guessed a bit, well, what is it that never works when things get tough? And obviously that's quitting. Quitting doesn't speed anything up. Quitting doesn't make anything improve. Now, let me just say, sometimes saying no to something is the best thing that you can do. But if you're serious about a goal and it's still meaningful to you, then quitting on that, not only do you not attain the goal, but it, it, it actually makes you believe in yourself less. And so when you commit to something, but don't do it, it's not just the goal that you're missing, it's you're actually, you're believing a little bit less in yourself, which is very damaging. Because if you don't believe in you, why should anybody else? And so know that when the going gets tough, you quitting is almost never the answer. It's look at it differently. Is there another way to approach it? What is the lesson, like I mentioned before, and is this still important to me? Now, if you decide, you know what? This just isn't important to me anymore, then fine, set a new goal, go off in that direction. But if you're being honest, most of the times, we're quitting on something that is actually important to us. So I'd love to hear from you and this little exercise will, will actually help you out. What's one thing that you've accomplished in your life that was maybe not easy to do, but you stuck with it and you made it happen? I'd love to hear from you in the comments what that was. And 
you reliving this moment, you reliving this pursuit of a goal is actually very beneficial to you because you're tapping into the, the muscle and the memory of you doing something that was worthwhile, that was awesome. So I would love to hear from you and I'd love to cheer you on and hear from your experiences. I do read and respond to every comment. So what is this powerful exercise? Let me before I explain the exercise, let me share with you one of my favorite scenarios that I use this exercise with. So I speak uh, at a lot of different uh, you know, company events and I'm a keynote speaker for, for you know, different events around the world. And I was preparing to go out to Vegas for a very big network marketing company convention and I was the keynote speaker. And so we've, you know, we were booked months and months ahead of time and so my team knew everything about it. We all knew everything about it. And I'm, it's a Thursday. I speak on Saturday. And I reach out to my team and I said, hey, um, you know, did we, send, uh, did we send the product you know, to the hotel? Is it at the hotel? No, it's not there yet. Should, should get there Saturday. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, I speak Saturday, hoping that it's there. Uh, are, the, are the order forms ready? Ah, uh, no, we got we to gotta tweak them. Okay. Again, we've known about it for months. Order form's not ready. Okay, is the PowerPoint updated? Nah, we still need to do that. Okay, right, at, the, at this point, I'm really getting a little agitated and I've built the muscle of awareness where if I'm getting agitated, well, I know that emotions are propagated. Whatever emotion you hold on to, you get to experience more of that. I was in an emotion I didn't want to experience, so I have to do something about it. And my go-to is this exercise. So. The exercise is you stand up, eyes closed, and you go, and I learned this from one of my mentors, Satyan Raha, and he, he created this process, very powerful. And so you stand up, eyes closed, and you do something that you probably would never do, and that is you express in an exhaustive fashion all of your frustrations around the particular problem. Now that sounds crazy, doesn't it? Aren't you supposed to, you know, speak positively and never say those things? I got it, just pay attention. So stand up, eyes closed, and you move counterclockwise very slowly, expressing all of your frustrations, all of the possible scenarios that could go in the wrong direction that you want. So you're going counterclockwise very slowly, standing up, eyes closed, and you exhaust all the things. And I'm gonna give you an example. Then, once you're exhaustively given your list of bad things around the situation that's bothering you, you go the other way. You go clockwise, the direction of creation. It's how everything is, is created. Look at you know, trees, look at crop circles, like look at, look at anything in nature, look at conch shells. They're created in, in clockwise fashion. You go clockwise, the direction of creation, and you express what you actually want. So here I am agitated. I decide I'm gonna do this, this process. So I start eyes closed, standing up, counterclockwise, and I say, okay, the paper forms don't get there, the, the product doesn't get there, I bomb on stage, they never wanna work with me ever again, uh, no one buys anything, and it's just a total waste of my time and the entire audience's time. That's pretty hardcore. I mean, I really expressed how terrible it was going to be. I exhausted my negative thinking, and then I stopped and went the other way. What is it that I actually want? So I went clockwise and I said, the company rehires me immediately. Sales are through the roof. They create a leadership group and they hire me to train their leaders. The number one income earner in the company hires me to coach them. And people come up to me with tears in their eyes saying it was the most powerful presentation they'd ever seen. Right? So that was the exercise. I get to Vegas. I rock it. The company rehires me immediately. Sales were through the roof. They create a leadership group. They hire me to coach their leaders. The number one income earner in the company hires me to coach her. And I have at least 20, maybe 30 people come up to me with tears in their eyes saying it was the most powerful presentation they'd ever seen. Now, I'm not saying that doing this exercise will always get you 100% of the things that you focus on and what you actually want, but it did in that scenario. And I've had that happen over and over and over. So the next time that you're frustrated, going through a tough time, agitated, do this exercise and bookmark this video so that you can come back and make sure that you're doing it the correct way. 
This one exercise has helped me tremendously and it can help you too. Now, if you would like a free strategy session to help you reach your goals, whether regardless of your history, maybe you've quit on every goal you've ever attempted, but you would like some strategy personalized to you and your situation, make sure you click the link down in the description. You'll get a free strategy session from my team. And for full disclosure, they're also, they'll also tell you about our coaching program, but that's something that, you know, that's up to you. If you wanna, you know, jump into it, awesome. If you don't, that's totally fine too. You will guaranteed get a free strategy session with my coaches and they will point you in the right direction of your goals. So click that link, fill that out, no cost to fill that out and get that free strategy session today.